Hello everyone! I'm not alone, Ryan's coming you back. You are not alone. Despite the camera is just right there, you just like... Well, I want to make sure that I uh, am getting here. You have like a with... lot of caffeine. Okay, so I was, gonna, I was gonna talk about that. I just took a shower, so I might be a little shiny right now. And our cats sometimes lay in the drawer where the towels are. So I started... You're uh, really kept I rubbed my, my face with the towel and then was like... <laughs> so I'm like coated in animal hair right now. You used different towel then. Well, but uh, by that point it had been too late. Like I'd already started to dry myself off, so I'm like, oh, I don't want to get another towel dirty. Plus that other towel might have had hair on it too. <laughs> I'm not allergic. It's okay. It just feels, feels kind of gross. <laughs> anyway... Thank you. That's just my beard. <laughs> All right. What's left of it? Uh, it's Friday. Well, <laughs> you'll be watching this on Saturday. It's Friday, December sixth. Uh, I'm excited today, Kate. Yeah. Because today's beer, we'll hold it up here. Da -da -da. In the Philip Snowcase showcase is Amnesiac. I'll put Woo! it. Oh, they don't go like that, so the camera can't do anything. Uh, Amnesiac is a double IPA. Double, 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 double. Exactly. Um, that would be like quadruple, though. This is just a double. Double, double. Um, and it's probably one of my favorite beers of all time, actually. Oh, snap. For real. Oh, snap. Of all time. I'll read you the story about Amnesiac you, you here. You drink a lot of beer, too. I do, indeed. And Amnesiac is one of my go-to favorites. The story is a little bullshit, though. You know, yesterday we got that narrative about... Uh, yeah, getting the hand ben. mashed. Yeah, Ben was mashing all his ginger today. Yeah. It's just... Beyond the cave of Hypnos and up the river of forgetfulness, you will find our original IPA's big gnarly brother. <coughs> this is a beer after our own hop heavy hearts and a brewery favorite ever since it debuted back in 2005. Pop the top and enjoy the hop. You can see the uh, hops along behind the elephant. Yes. Uh, it pours a golden hay color with a thick creamy head. Ooh. Aromas of pine and citrus are very bold with lingering floral notes. A big pink grapefruit hoppy flavor with candy sweetness undertones finishes with a lingering warm bitterness. Oh. If you... Interesting. I am predicting... Either with the availability. It's available all the time. Okay, it's available all the time. I predict uh, that if you don't like hops, which Kate doesn't really, this would probably be maybe your least favorite beer in the, uh, in the whole pack. If you do no, like... No, the ginger one was the least favorite we'll one. We'll see. Really? We'll see. I didn't think that... I didn't drink um, any more sip after the camera of that ginger thing. I drank Kate's and my stomach felt a little weird all night, but I thought it tasted okay. Um, if you like hops, I think you will like this beer a lot. Also, 8.5. Right. I think that's one of the reasons it's called Amnesiac is because it's, you know, you about forget 50 your percent night. stronger than your average beer. Uh, cheers. Cheers. Boop. Oh, that's good. So they got two eyebrow raises out of five Ruka legs. What do you think, Kate? You might need to take a couple sips. The first one, it's kind of like a whiskey. You know, when you first right. drink a whiskey, you just taste the alcohol. When you first drink this, it's pretty easy to just get hops. It's like times too strong of the... What was the... The Octofox. Yes. Okay, yeah. From December 3rd. There are two foxes, and then they evolved into this elephant, mm -hmm. and that's how it tastes like. It's uh, it's hoppy enough that it really, like, it, it does linger. I wouldn't say warm bitterness. I would say it keeps that hops taste right in the back of your throat. But it's... Uh, if it's... you want to know how hops taste like, drink <laughs> this. It's uh, it's really nice. It does, it's got a strong, an incredibly strong hops flavor. You... Give it a minute and, uh, you know, I don't know, get your tolerance for hops up a little bit or get that flavor so it's not the dominant factor. There's some some other tasting notes, like it said, there underneath. I didn't, still mostly taste hops, but I'm a, a big fan of that. Didn't they say there's like a triple hop and quadruple hop, whatever? Well, there are... Um, quadruple IPA or there something? There are triple IPAs. I don't know if I've ever had a double, but... Well, um, this is the double. Oh, sorry. I don't know if I've ever had a quadruple, oh, is what I mean okay. to say. Um but yeah, there's not much more to say than that. Uh, this is a brewery that clearly loves... Oh, I can feel like like lava going into my stomach That's right now. That's the hops, girl. Ooh. Pop the top and enjoy the hop. But this is drinkable. Like, it doesn't make you feel like you drank your mama's home medicine, cold medicine for, like, your throat. Like the ginger beer. Yeah. 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 But, uh... 
This one is drinkable. I like it enough that I can drink it. But I'm not gonna be like, oh, look at all the beers go. Where did all the beer go? It won't be like that. It will be. I'll you might be, be like that if you finish like two of those. Well, yes, but but first beer, I think I will remember every sip that I will I will take mm. from this bottle, and um, yeah, it's much better than the ginger one. Ginger one was something not belong in this world. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Um, it's it For is my world. Amnesiac. It's a beer you uh, you keep tasting it long after you yeah, stop drinking it. Yeah, I'm still tasting it. it. That's true. I'm like a cow. You know how cows they eat grass mm. and then they like throw up in their mouth and then they eat it again. It's like I didn't throw up. That's in my like mouth. the worst description. That's how you know this isn't paid content. Would you like to compare your flagship <laughs> beer to a cow eating its own vomit? There you well, go. Do you know why they do that? Uh, it's more nutrients or something, right? No, they can. They have weak stomach. Like they couldn't mm, digest so they well. have to digest so it they in their mouth. Yeah, mostly. yeah, they have to chew mm. it even more. So it's like I'm not doing that. I'm not throwing up in my mouth. But that's good. The 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 flavor, it's lingering. I'm mm. like I'm still drinking. Kind of it makes me feel like a little bit. I don't know. Yeah. I uh, I like amnesiac a lot. How do you? Is it amnesiac? Amnesiac. Yeah. Many many commenters actually wanted to see Amnesiac. Cause, really? Because you were like, oh, Amnesiac is really good. I hope they add Amnesiac. I really. Oh, like I knew amnesiac. it would be in here because it's one of their their big things. Mm. What, what do you think? Give it a give it a rating that makes no sense at all. It, no, people actually like my grading. Yeah. And they do understand my okay. grading. Okay. Yeah. I say two furry towels out of five fresh no furry towels. Okay, the secret is it's just a out of five rating scale. Whatever number you say no, first is your rating. No, last time was ten, or last last time was ten. Okay, well maybe I'll stop trying to be the Rosetta Stone for that. Yeah. Um, the Amnesiac. Amnesiac for me is a, it's a five out of five beer. Um, wow. I I pick it up often. Yeah, I remember that. I one, remember this elephant sitting once, uh, in my once fridge. or twice a month. I like to get some Amnesiac. It's pretty good. Uh, you know, you should probably know by now if you're watching these videos that Philips is uh, known for their hops and their proclivity for hops. If you do not like hops, you will not like Amnesiac. If you do, uh, or maybe you're looking to get into the more, this might be a good jumping off point for you. It's uh, it's really good. Probably the best double IPA I've ever had. I will, I will say try Octofox first, and then like, oh yeah, like I can go stronger. <laughs> yeah, I, that's like, true. Like give me more of that punch. Then, then you will go to the elephant. Although, well, never mind. I got it backwards. I was going to say maybe you're just getting used to it, but it's going the opposite way. Right. Maybe you're becoming more sensitive to it. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I can't remember enough so about Fox uh, is Octopus. weakly compared to the elephant. Right. In terms of, but you prefer Octofox. I prefer the lagger. Got some cat hair <laughs> all over me. You do have cat fur everywhere. Yeah. They were just trying to donate some because... You that you are actually becoming the cat, you know those like the morph children. Animorphs. Animorphs. Yeah, animorphs. You're like, ooh, until you're gonna be a cat now. Yeah, that'd be weird. I'd rather Maybe be like, like. I guess being a cat would be pretty sweet. Like if I was, I think if overnight I turned pretty into, sweet. If I turned into a any animal, a cat would be for the best. Cause you'd be Not like, a dog? well, you'd be like, where'd Ryan go? I don't know, but here's this cat. You like people might say, oh, just put two and two together, but I don't think it's the simplest choice to just assume your husband turned into a cat but if i was gone and you were like oh there's another cat you might just keep that cat i think i'll know it's it's you oh come what if what if Ooh, someone what if, broke into what, the if I, what if i go out to the grocery store and there's just another cat here i'm gonna come back and you're gonna be like don't worry ryan i'll, I'll find a way to no, transmute I'll, you i'll be like what there are two ryans <laughs> they'd be like one ryan and then the human ryan that and they'll be, be like are you real ryan and I'll be like, meow. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, oh no, we gotta trans transfer the brain. That's hard. I can't do that. But then you'd be like, meow. Yeah, exactly. I'd be like, don't do it. This is the kind of conversation you can expect to have if you have too many amnesiacs. <laughs> this is the conversation that we have every day. That is also true. <laughs> this is amnesiac. Um, they put it on a Friday. Probably because it's a little bit more... 8.5. Yeah, a little bit more alcohol by volume. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow to take a look at another beer that I've already... No, I haven't forgotten. It's a new one. It's unique. 
I've never had it. You've never had it. I think, oh yeah. I think it might be exclusive to this. Don't don't spoil it. I was thinking, yeah, it was like it was it wasn't uh, defined something like you know how we had a lager. It was like a lager. It's a new uh, kind IPA, of beer. It's like yeah. IPA, double IPA, double IPA. It wasn't like something. It was like it's this and this and this and this. Exactly. So I'm we excited like, for it. What? I'm excited for it too. I'm excited. As long as it's not a ginger beer. I don't think it will be. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll end the video. It's your channel, lady. Bye, everyone. Later.